Well, here we are again, uh, 15 episodes published, so this will be episode 16. I'm going to start working on the um, uh, controls and steering mechanism. Uh, before we get to that, I did go buy another piece of uh, clear pine for the other rub rail. This is actually going to afford me two pieces, so in case I break another one, I'll have another backup. And I've got it weighted down to give it a little bit of a curve over the next day or so. I'll work on that sometime. I'm not going to video that part. I'll just, uh, I'll show a video of it after it's installed, assuming everything goes well. But today I went and bought a piece of hardwood. This is a, uh, basically a remnant piece of ash. Super heavy. It's eight quarters in size, which should be just about perfect for all of the little pieces that I need to make next, except for this one. But this calls for an inch and three quarters um, in height. This is an inch and a half. It's ash and it's super, super strong. So I'm not even gonna worry about that missing quarter of an inch. Everything else is good. This is inch and a half. That's three quarters of an inch. Uh, those are just pivot blocks, upper and lower pivot blocks. I don't really have any way to slice this board this way. So I'm just gonna plan on using this for all of these pieces. I'm gonna make the uh, control arm block, the control arm assembly, the actual control arm, and then a couple of uh, pivot blocks. So everything's gonna come out of this piece of uh, ash that I bought from uh, Kettle Moraine Hardwoods today. Uh, it was a remnant, so it was five bucks, which was, that's a great deal to do uh, everything that I need. It'll be enough for the control arm and all of the block pieces. So it's about, uh, well, how long is it? I'm gonna say three and a half feet. Four feet. Four feet long. The uh, control arm is 10 inches, so there's plenty of wood left over to uh, work on doing these blocks. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Here's the setup for cutting out the first few pieces. Well, actually all the pieces for the uh, control arm and steering setup. This piece here is the control arm itself. Then we've got the upper control arm block, lower control arm block, and then two pivot blocks. Uh, I'm just gonna cut this out with a jigsaw and hopefully this won't take too terribly long and, uh, but I'm not gonna video it because uh, it's really not that interesting. And here are the five pieces I just cut out. This will be the uh, control, control horn that will get mounted on there like that. It will actually face downward and get mounted in the back of the boat. And then here we have the forward control arm assembly. This will actually get a piece of uh, aluminum just like that. So, yeah, it'll go just like that. A piece of aluminum will come forward right there. And then the pivot blocks. This stuff is, it's a solid chunk of wood. This stuff's really cool. So, all cut and shaped. I gotta cut, put holes, uh, one and eight diameter inch hole there, 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 and there. So, I'll have to uh, figure out that because my vise is broken. I probably should have done that before I did any cutting, but these are big enough pieces I should be able to just clamp them to the to a table, and run a drill or a hole saw down through them. So, pretty cool. Bought a new drill press. Harbor Freight Special. Central Machinery. Four holes. 
And does it ever make a mess? Yeah. Cleanup time. Okay, well, this has been a frustrating day. Making the uh, control arm assemblies. I, I've just been off today. Apparently, I cannot measure and cut a, a square piece. Uh, you can see here I have four X'd out pieces, two upper control assemblies at the rear, and two forward control assemblies. Uh, this one, I misdrilled the holes. This hole here should be closer to the center, which meant that the cross holes interfered with this hole, interfered with that hole. So that one is junk. This one, I, for some reason, drilled out the center hole before measuring the exact center. And I didn't even get to drilling the, the bolt holes. The center hole is just off by about, uh, I don't know, three sixteenths of an inch, an eighth of an inch. So that one's junk. Finally, I did make one that will work. Uh, all the holes are, are good. They don't interfere with, with each other. The center hole is good. I got the uh, slot cut out and that is a good functioning piece. Okay. The forward control arm. Um, let's see here. This one, uh, the hole is actually off-centered. It's supposed to be off-centered. Uh, this one is drilled in the center. I forgot to offset it, so that one's trash. This one, I made the size of this one based on the first one that I just threw away. Drilled the hole in the right spot, but realized that I didn't even measure it correctly. This should be another inch longer this way. So, I have, I have no idea. I, I don't know what, what I'm thinking, what happened here. But this one's not long enough, so that one's trash. Finally, I have a forward control arm that's good. It's the correct size, got all the holes drilled, got the slot for the clamp. Okay, so I have forward control arm block, rear control arm block, and two pivot blocks. Those are all good. So now I need to make the uh, metal piece that gets connected, that gets drilled uh, to this, which is right here on the plans. So frustrating day, but finally after three tries, those two pieces are good. Those two, simple squares with a hole in the middle. Got those right the first time. I just uh, used the belt sander and shaped the uh, control arm, which is to look like this or that, depending on where you're looking. And then this gets attached to um, the control arm assembly. I'm going to epoxy these two together as well as bolt them together. There are the five pieces. So today I worked on getting the control arm assembled. Um, I went to the hardware store. They did not have the exact length bolts that I needed. So what I did was went to the next size and I'm going to have a stack of washers on that side, but this side will, the protruding threads will just get cut off with the cutoff wheel. Same thing goes there. And then down here, I just used an eye bolt that is set into the wood, probably somewhere about there where my thumb is. And then I'll cut off the eye part, leave the, leaving the threads. So the, um, the push-pull tube will connect to that. So that'll set down in the boat down there. And then I also put the bolts in the forward control arm block, which will go, which way will this go? Like this. 
on the front. This gets mounted up in there. Now there's a piece of metal right here that I mentioned before that gets cut and installed with two bolts right there. Uh, I thought that I had the piece of metal, but unfortunately I am unable to find it right now. So it might be in the garage and because my truck's in the way, I'm just not having a, any luck finding it. So uh, next time I have the truck out, uh, I'll probably go through some more stuff to see if I can find it. So hopefully I'll get this wrapped up today and um, I still gotta do that. Uh, I still gotta do that rub rail. All right, I'm gonna cut off the ends of the, the uh, bolts here and cut off the eye bolt. I'm gonna have to get a, I forgot to bring my ruler out here, mark that at 5 eighths, but I'll go ahead and cut the other stuff. bolts are now trimmed look very nice uh, they're never gonna come off unless I replace them with stainless and if I do I will be sure to get the correct length bolts these three here don't do anything because those are set um, and those two will just get adjusted in to put clamping pressure on the tube uh, they'll never need to come off and that one is now in place forever. It is uh, not only epoxied in place, but it now has no, um, no head, no way to uh, um, come out of there. So that piece is done. Same thing with this side, or this uh, control arm head, or control arm block, I should say. Those will never need to come off. They'll only need to be adjusted in to put clamping pressure again on the front uh, tube. One last little bit of uh, footage here is I make the lever, I guess, that sticks off the front of the uh, control arm assembly. My neighbor, who is an engineer, but he has techs that can cut stuff on laser. I might end up with a stainless steel version of this at some point, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and make this out of aluminum. And if the aluminum works just fine, I'll probably stick with that. I'm gonna use two layers. This is a 16th inch plate, uh, 6061 T6 anodized. Aluminum, nice strong stuff, easy for me to cut with a jigsaw. So I'm going to measure out and make two layers, stick them together, sand them nice and smooth, maybe finish assembling this, this piece here this afternoon before I start on making a modification to the trolling motor. So I gotta clear off this whole table in order to do that. So this is first, and then on to the trolling motor. Got the first plate cut and clamped to the, uh, the rest of the piece and got it all marked out. Got the holes drilled to match exactly. And now I'll just use the jigsaw to cut the 
second piece out and probably call this done. So just to wrap this up, there is the forward control arm assembly completed. Tightening bolts in place and the lever is in place. It uh, looks pretty much like it should both ways. And I'll just throw this in here. Uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to see. I will try not to drop my phone showing you this, but the port side rub rail is in place. Um, it is missing at this point, a carriage bolt that goes right about oh, in there somewhere. Uh, that is omitted at this point because I was so nervous about snapping that one again that I decided to just leave it off at this point. And if at some point down the road uh, I do fiberglass it in place, I'll throw another bolt in there once it's fiberglass and I know it's not going to break. I'm still hesitant at this point to, to fiberglass it because being a rub rail, uh, if it does get messed up for some reason, um, I want to be able to replace it. So still struggling with that. We'll see. On to cutting that motor. See you next time.